Now 6.30. On 104.6 FM, this is BBC Radio Surrey. Rebecca Dalton has the news summary for us. Detectives investigating the explosions at a gasworks in Cheshire are still questioning two men about the shooting of a policeman nearby. Three bombs exploded at the works in Warrington and a fourth failed to go off. The policeman was shot in Warrington Town Centre as he was checking a van. Detectives are still looking for a third man who got away. Armed police in Nottingham have arrested a number of people in connection with the Warrington incidents. The government's refusing to negotiate with Labour over policy on anti-terrorist law. The Shadow Northern Ireland Secretary, Kevin McNamara, was indi has indicated Labour would support the Prevention of Terrorism Act if it was reformed before its annual renewal. The Home Secretary, Kenneth Clark, said it was irresponsible for anyone to suggest changes in the Act. Reports are coming in of an explosion in an underground train system beneath the World Trade Center in New York. It's believed between 50 and 100 people have been injured. It's also thought there could be structural damage to one of the Trade Center's two towers, which are 110 stories tall. BBC Radio Surrey headlines. The next news is at 7. <laughs> Sport now, and, and that's the end of a mammoth sports news at 24 minutes to seven. Steve Watts on BBC Radio Surrey. Atlantic Star, Secret Lovers, it's BBC Radio Surrey at 20 to 7. Well, we were hoping to talk, as I said in this hour, to Barry Dow, who's the chief executive of the Guildford Kings basketball team. Unfortunately, uh, Barry has, uh, well, not turned up, so uh, if you were looking forward to that, I'm sorry about that. If he does come in between now and 7, then, of course, we'll find some time to chat to him. But uh, in the meantime, I'm afraid we've put basketball on ice which I suppose is a bit of a feat in itself. Uh, let me just tell you that uh, tomorrow morning uh, I shall be here at 10 o'clock, bright and early. I hope you'll be with us for the Saturday programme between 10 and 1. We've got lots of goodies tomorrow, some nice prizes to give away, some theatre tickets to the uh, next show in Woking, which is called Good Rocking Tonight. Uh, I've got three pairs of tickets to give away for that tomorrow. Also some CDs and bits and pieces. And as always, lots of interesting stuff in the programme. So join me and the team after 10 when we'll be talking about uh, cinemas and uh, books and food and uh, look at the local papers and all that stuff that's uh, steve watts on the saturday team tomorrow 10 till 1 join us if you can what's on well to find out uh, we look at the radio surrey events diary with wendy and you've got quite a few ideas for tonight wendy i know yes that's right i thought i'd mention first of all um guildford school of acting it's their first performance of the sleeping beauty tonight and that's at the bellaby theatre and that starts at 7 30. when does it go on till that goes right on until the 12th because we haven't mentioned the Guildford School of Acting for a long time and uh, they're still putting out such good mm -hmm. productions. Yes. So, Sleeping Beauty, um, until the 12th. And until it's, uh, the 12th. Tonight at the Bellaby Theatre. Mm -hmm. That's in Leapell Road, in, uh, or Leapell Lane in Guildford. Can't miss it. <laughs> OK, what else? OK, a um, couple of concerts for tonight. Firstly, the West Surrey Organ Society are presenting John Daly on uh, the organ at Shalford Village Hall in Guildford. That starts at 8 o'clock. Yes, he's a good organist. I've heard him before. Oh. See, people don't realise I am a musician. You know I all am, the people. I am an organist <laughs> and a keyboard player. And uh, yes, he's good, so go along to Shelford Village Hall. Right. Um, okay. The second one is South East Surrey Area Youth Orchestra. They're performing at the Harlequin Theatre in Redhill at 7.30. And they're including Beethoven's Sixth, sixth Symphony. Can you sing it, Steve? Do you know what? No, I know Beethoven the fifth sixth. is the one that goes... Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. The most well-known. <laughs> but the sixth, to be honest, no. Anybody knows the sixth? Ring me up now and hum it to me. <laughs> OK. Um, <laughs> right, so that's at Red Hill tonight. Yes. And um, lastly, it's not a concert, but uh, Loseley Park in Guildford. You know those ice cream people, as usual, Steve? Yes, we like the we like ginger those. and acacia honey one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Still haven't had any turn up, despite <laughs> mentioning them. Hello, Loseley. Uh, right, so Loseley, um, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're holding tonight, on until the 6th of December, there's a live crafts spectacular um, included in their Christmas craft fair. That starts tonight, goes on until the 6th of December, and that's at the Loseley Park in Guildford. So do they tell us what it's all about? Anything, any more details? Because no. it sounds interesting, live craft spectacular. I think there might be more about it on Sunday, though. Oh, right. If we're lucky. All right, then. Fine. <laughs> OK, but Loseley, support them, because they always put on a good show. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, starting tonight and on till the 6th of December. 
and uh, one for next week. One for next week, Tuesday. Um, the Sacred Heart Church in Cobham, they're holding a coffee morning. Now, they're looking uh, ahead, not this weekend, but next weekend. They're holding a Christmas bazaar, but they actually, the, the coffee morning on Tuesday, that's the first, they want lots of stall holders and gifts of all kinds because, you know, they're really urgently needed for this Christmas bazaar, which is on the Saturday the 5th. So, uh, this Tuesday the 1st... ...is the coffee morning at the Catholic Church Hall in Cobham at 10.30. And uh, then you can go along and help out. Mm. Mm. Sounds nice. I like coffee mornings, particularly when the weather's bad like this and it's cold and wintry and you can go into a nice warm place and uh, coffee and cakes and all that. I'm not a coffee person. No, you're not a coffee person, <laughs> but I am. I'm talking about me. I, uh, you know, I'm sorry. You, because you choose not to drink coffee. That's that's your business. I like coffee and I'd like a nice hot cover coffee and nice <laughs> nice cake. I think I prefer Lacey ice cream. Yes, well, come on, we still haven't had any loads of <laughs> After our last match, I expected, you know, Knock cases on the of door. stuff to <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Not really, no, we mustn't do that at the BBC, must we? Particularly now. So, you're going to have a nice weekend ahead of you, and you're back I on Monday. I am very lazy. Mm -hmm. Bless your heart for that. Thank you, Wendy. And, uh, as always, the Radio Surrey Events Diary at this time on the programme. And if you want to get in touch with us for your event, uh, it's, as long as it's n a non-commercial event, OK? If it's a blatant commercial event, then we'll choose not to use it. But if you want to get in touch with us, a uh, voluntary group or a charity or anything like that, and we'll put the event in the diary, this is how you get in touch. Write to BBC Radio Surrey, Broadcasting House, Guildford, GU2 5AP. Or fax us on 0483 304 952. So we've got all mod cons here, you know, faxes and phones. We've even got chairs to sit on and things like that. Uh, it's just before a quarter to seven on with the travel news, and here's Phil Holbrook. There's been an accident on the A3 southbound carriageway just south of the Hook underpass. That area now extremely congested and there are now very long tailbacks right back to the Roehampton area, so that's certainly one to avoid if you can. M25 now, that's still very busy through the roadworks between junctions 15 and 16, the exits for the M4 and the M40, and also anti-clockwise between junctions 13 and 11, the exits for Staines and for Chertsey. If you're heading into Hampshire this evening, expect long delays southbound on the A33 at the Hockley Lights and there are still tailbacks back towards Junction 9 on the M3 which is the Winchester Turn. On the A240 the, the Yule Bypass lane restrictions continue at the junction with Thorndon Gardens and on the A3100 that's Clay Lane in Burfham there are still temporary traffic lights there likely to cause delays. On to London Underground delays reported at the moment on the Northern Line. Finally at Gatwick Airport one delayed arrival that's American Airlines flight AA50 due from Dallas and Fort Worth at 8.30 this morning now expected to land at 22.30 tonight. More travel news just before 7 o'clock. BBC Radio Surrey. It's 11 minutes to 7, it's BBC Radio Surrey and the weather news from Frank Green is on its way after this jolly little ditty. For the very best in drama, great series by the score. For wildlife, weather, news and sport, big films and so much more. Whether brows are high or low from Buffalo To comic shows for the best of British On TV get vouchers from the BBC if you know someone who'd like some help with their TV licence fee in the coming year, why not give them BBC licence fee gift vouchers? Starting from £10, these vouchers can help someone you know towards hours of endless viewing enjoyment. For the best of British on TV, get vouchers from the BBC. To order your vouchers, phone 0734 757799. Or to put it another way, 0734 757799. You can imagine, can't you, know, somebody's birthday, they open it and they're... That free va and gift vouchers there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'd have much rather had something, you know, to wear. Uh, ten to seven, on to the weather now, and Frank Green's got the details of what's going to happen over the weekend. Hello, Frank. Hello, Steve, and uh, certainly a very cold weekend. We had a pretty cold day today, but uh, most of the rain and sleet's gone now, and it'll dry up in the east of the county, I think, uh, very soon as well. Still one or two showers scattered about uh, early this evening and uh, a bit sleety, I think, the showers this evening. But then overnight, for most of us, it will be uh, dry and clear and uh, it's going to be a cold night. Temperature's not down all that low, down to about minus one or minus two. That's down to 28 Fahrenheit. But there will be um, 
a fairly brisk northerly wind right throughout the night. So certainly uh, a very cold night tonight and indeed a bitterly cold weekend as well. Uh, there'll be sharp frost at night, temperatures down to about minus 3, that's 27 Fahrenheit. And even during the day, only about plus 3, that's 37. So very cold, strong northerly winds as well. Some sunshine, but there will be snow showers as well. Probably not too many tomorrow, but uh, probably quite a few about on Sunday. I think enough to settle on Sunday. Frank Green at the Weather Centre. BBC Radio Surrey, keeping you in touch with all the day's news. Absolutely. That's a bit of a cloudburst here going on in the background, for goodness sake. In the fullness of time, this will be Marshall Hayne, who are dancing in the city. Dancing in the city, that's Marshall Hayne. You know, my claim to fame is that I once interviewed one half of Marshall Hayne, but... I've been trying to think for the life of me. I can't remember which half it was. I think it was the half that sang, but I'm not sure about that. It's a minute to seven. Let's have some travel news. James is at the AA. Still delays southbound on the A3, south of the Hook Underpass. Uh, that's due to an accident, which is uh, say, co still causing delays. Other problems, spots the A306, Roehampton Lane, uh, junction with the A3 Kingston Road. Roehampton traffic lights uh, uh, phasing is faulty at the moment. There are some tailbacks there. Uh, the M25, well, it's pretty nightmarish, I'm afraid, tonight. Uh, from uh, junction 13 right round to junction 6 on the anti-clockwise carriageway. That's from Staines to Godston. Just slow due to the uh, Friday evening rush, I'm afraid. Uh, the A33 south of the Hockley Light, still very heavy and slow southbound if you're heading that way. As is the uh, M3 and you'll find the M25 long-term road work still continuing between 15 and 16 that's the M4 and the M40 James Garrett a road watch on to London Underground delays reported on the Northern Line finally at Heathrow Airport one delayed arrival British Airways flight BA 102 that was due 15.30 this afternoon from Larnaca now expected in at approximately 4.30 tomorrow morning Steve well we made it sort of virtually unscathed tonight didn't yes, we yes we did a busy old programme though nonetheless it was yes but we enjoyed it we we're did. enriched and I hope that we you did. are too and, um, you know, never, uh, hardly a slip, twixt cup and lip, something like that. <laughs> yes, sounds, yes, I know what you mean. Oh, goodness me. It's getting late, and I must be off to bed. I'll see you bright and early, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Join me then. Till then, have a good evening. ta -ra.